Tax time. Today I want to show you how to file RSU and ESPP taxes on TurboTax correctly to avoid getting double taxed. Previously on the Kind Juju Base channel, I have done videos explaining how your RSUs and ESPPs can get double taxed. If you're not aware about them, please pause this video, go and watch them, and then come back over here. This is what it is, okay? Be water, my friend. As usual, disclaimer up front, do not take my content as professional financial advice. Let's head over to the PC and sign in in TurboTax. The TurboTax that I'm using today is the online version. I'm gonna assume that you have already imported your Form 1099B from your broker onto TurboTax. We'll start from here. In the Wages and Incomes page, you should see a box with the name of your broker on it. There should be a box within it that says Stocks, Bonds, etc. 1099B. Go ahead and hit Review. On this page, you will see a list of all the stock sales you've made in the past year. The gain loss amount for your ESPP and RSUs will be incorrect if your broker reported the wrong cost basis on your Form 1099B. Okay, you want to bring up your Form 1099B to cross-reference which line item belongs to an ESPP sale or an RSU sale. For an ESPP sale, you should see on the Sales section column, it is marked with Box A. For RSUs, you should see a box B instead. The Form 1099B should have both of these. One section that says Part 1 with box A checked, and another that says Part 1 with box B checked. Let's start by reviewing an ESPP sale. We'll choose the bottommost row here. Click on the Pen button. Under Sales Info, there's a prompt. What type of investment did you sell? Here, click on the Select bar below and choose ESPP. Next, scroll down a little and you should come up to a line that says Costs or Other Cost Basis. Beneath that, there should be a checkbox that says The cost basis is incorrect or missing in my Form 1099B. Go ahead and click on that and then scroll down all the way and click on Continue. Answer the prompts here according to your situation and then hit Continue. Okay, now here TurboTax is asking for your adjusted cost basis. You can get this information from your broker's supplement form. Okay, enter it here and then hit continue. Now you'll be back at the main page showing all your stock sales. One thing to look out for to make sure you have got this right is that under adjustments, previously the number was zero, but after you've entered the adjusted cost basis, this number should change to a non-zero number and now your gain should be correct. Whew. How about RSUs? All the previous steps are the same, but there are two differences I want to call out. Number one, for the sale information question, you have to enter RSU instead of ESPP. Okay, and number two, when you're done entering the adjusted cost basis for your RSU, you should see a non-zero cost basis number. Previously, this was zero. Okay, now with a non-zero cost basis number, your gain now looks correct. Okay, if you did the above steps, your tax filing for RSUs and ESPPs should be correct. But just for you extra careful folks, before you click on complete and send away your tax returns, at the last step, you can review the form 8949 that TurboTax generated for you. Please see my previous videos, link in the description box below or up here in the top right corner, where I go into extreme detail on how they should look like for your ESPP and RSU. Remember, don't just import your forms to TurboTax, you gotta review them. Backdoor Roth IRA conversions. Oh, oh, are you curious about how to do taxes on that on TurboTax as well? Ooh, stay tuned for my next video then. Alright, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, help me like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You will see a list of all the sub... <laughs> you will see a list of all the sub... <laughs>